Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about WebDriver event listeners. Okay. So uh, I'll give the link to my last video in the description here, in which we did discuss about what is listeners and how do they actually work. Okay. So we did talk about test engine listeners in our last video, and in this video, we are going to talk about WebDriver event listeners. Let me summarize it for you a little bit. So uh, listeners listen to specific events. in a very simple language so if you want to perform something something specific on some specific operations you go for listeners let's take an example okay so say i'm performing a click operation right we do right driver dot find element by dot whatever expert id whatever it is and then dot click right now consider you want to maybe wait until your element is clickable before every click okay now before every click if you keep writing wait dot until wait dot until your code would look like unreasonable right it looks lengthy and unreasonable both so what you can do you can instead write a listener and you can say to the listener that okay before every click do perform this operation on every exception that i get do go and log it in the reports or in the excel and so on okay so any web driver events that you perform may it be send keys may it be browsing to a particular url may it be clicking on something or whatever it is right before after the events you can perform some specific operations and this feature is being given to you by listeners if we talk about test ng listeners those listener events give you the feasibility to perform certain actions on test ng events Right now we are talking about web driver event listeners so this listeners will be giving you the feasibility to perform specific actions on web driver events right now let's see it in practical so i'll move to my eclipse now okay so here right now i've just created a simple code of open browser and but i'll rename it okay so let me name my browser as understanding web driver listeners okay so nothing much that i have done in my code right now is just that with the latest chrome as uh, if you have not got the chance to work on the latest chrome let me tell you this in the latest chrome we are getting the time out warnings so this particular line will help you get rid of those warnings and this is the path to the chrome driver executable right so what do we need to do in order to implement web driver listeners with our selenium script okay so i'll be creating a simple class right here new class and let me name it my test listener okay finish okay so i have my class here this class needs to implements web driver event listener okay so let me implement this and then you see the error warning here right with the two quick fixes available add the unimplemented method or this one so i'll click on add an implemented methods okay so what did this do this did populate all the abstract functions of web driver event listener to your class right now this have got various methods if you see we have got after alert accept we have got after alert dismiss so you want to do something after accepting the windows alert something after dismissing the alert after send keys if you want to do something after clicking on operation after find by after getting the screenshot and so on okay so you will get methods for everything you do perform get text operation right for the web element you can do something after getting the text after navigating back and so on okay so these are the after block and then here you see the same functions for the before thing like before accepting an alert before dismissing an alert before clicking on element and so on okay so right now we are not going to use everything let me quickly go to um, after navigate okay so let me find that okay close this 
Uh -huh. Okay, so here it is, right? So after navigate to function will help you performing some specific operations after navigating to a particular URL. Okay, so you can do anything here, but right now let me just put a simple CSU statement. Okay, so I'll say CSU. Hey, I have navigated to my URL and let's try printing the title guys, okay? So I'll also print the URL of the page plus Mm, okay, the title is, let me print you, driver dot get title. Okay, so this will get performed, like this function will be called automatically by listeners every time I perform either driver dot get or if I perform driver.navigate.to. So these are the two functions in WebDriver which help you hitting a URL, right? So for both of these operations, this function will be automatically called. So if you want to perform something just after reaching out to a URL, you can write that certain line of code into this particular function, okay? There's another very interesting function here. We'll also talk about that. So we have got a function for on exception right you want to perform something whenever you encounter an exception right so whenever you encounter an exception this function will be automatically called right but let me tell you one thing guys this is an on exception method so you have put an assertion in your code okay in that case this on exception method won't be called when is this on exception method called See guys, this is web driver event listeners. So obviously any web driver exceptions, any exceptions pertaining to driver, that exception will call this particular. So that exception would call this particular on exception method. Now, what do you mean if I'm saying web driver exceptions? What do I mean by that? Right? So there are various exceptions which you encounter while you go for web driver code, right? For example, you get no such element exception, you get invalid select exception, you get query interceptor, element not visible, element click intercepted, stale element, and so on. Right? So these are the exceptions which web driver gives you while you script selenium. So if you are encountering any these type of exceptions, in that case, this on exception method will be called. Okay. So what you can do here, you can do anything. You can take a screenshot, you can uh, go for reporting, you can log something into Excel and whatever you want to. Okay. But for now, again, I'll be just putting a CSO statement here saying, hey, I encountered an exception. Okay, and let me also print the error message. Okay, so throwable we do get the variable here and I'll type get message. Okay, that's all guys. You can implement any method of as per your requirement. Right now we have just implemented two methods. Now, my listener work is done, but how do my Selenium script know that, okay, I have to work along with this listener right okay so we'll have to work on that but before that let's do some simple scripting so right now i have uh, like given the part to my chrome driver executable let's launch chrome driver so i'll write web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay let me import it okay so after that driver dot let me maximize the window. Okay. Uh, let's navigate to HTTPS www. Maybe we work on Amazon for now. Okay. So I open the Chrome browser, I maximize it, and then I go to this particular URL. As we say, 
if we are moving to this particular URL and we have implemented or we have provided some code lines for after navigate to function here. Let me quickly show you once again. Okay, so as we have printed this, so our expectation is as soon as driver.get function is called, after that we should get this line printed in our console, right? Okay, so after going to this URL, let me just say driver.findElementById dot id and guys i am just putting a wrong id here right i'll tell you why why i have done this okay sorry okay dot click okay so reason i have gone for this or i have written this wrong id thing i've just put in i've just put anything right here right because i want my code to fail i want that I should get an exception saying no such element exception, right? So this is any ID that I've taken. So obviously this, this is not going to be present in Amazon.in. So my this line is going to fail, giving me an exception saying no such element exception. I don't have any such element in my Amazon, right? And this should call my on exception method, right? Okay, so I've got my code ready. I've just written a very simple code right now, but Okay, so how do we register my Selenium script with my test lister or with my code definitions which I have put, right? For that, guys, Selenium 2 provide you a class named as even firing. Okay, I do not need to write it here. You need to write it after you have launched your Chrome driver. Okay, okay. So you need to create an object of even firing web driver okay so let me name it even driver is equal to new even firing web driver which would take driver as a parameter for its constructor okay now this is the first step what the first step is you need to create an object of even firing web driver this even firing web driver do take driver the web driver driver as an instance to its constructor Okay, second step, you need to create an object of your listener class which you have created. Okay, so let me write my test listener, test listener is equal to new, my test listener, done. And the third and the final step that you need to do, you need to register your listener along with, okay, so event driver. So I'm saying my event driver to register my test listener. And that's all guys. So what have we done? We have created an object of event firing web driver. We have created an object of our test listener class. And then I'm saying my event driver to register with test listener. And you are done. You are done with registering your test listener to your driver. But one thing that you have to make sure, this test listener is being implemented, is being registered with event driver. So moving forward, you need to call event driver rather than your normal driver okay only if you are calling event driver only then that test listener is going to work if you go on calling driver your code is not going to work okay so okay we can now run our code and see what do we get as output right so let me quickly run my code Okay, so I've got my browser launched and I've navigated to Amazon.in, right? Okay, so let me move back to my Eclipse to see what has happened. But before that, let me close this. Okay, so I'm seeing my script has failed, right? Let us see the exception. So we have got no such element exception as expected. Let me bring it down. Okay. This makes thing easy, right? Okay. So let us see where have my code failed. So my code has failed in this particular line. Correct. Now let's see the outputs. Okay. So see here guys, I've got it printed. Hey, I have navigated to my URL, dub.amazon.n and my title is this particular thing. 
right and after that i've also got this line printed here i encountered an exception of no such element unable to locate element okay so this is the charm of your listeners the charm of web driver event listeners you write it once and any any number of times now guys one more thing this is not limited that to just once okay you register it once now every time you call dot get method your after navigate to function is going to work for sure right every time you perform uh, every time you get an exception in your code your on exception will be getting called okay now this is on a class level let us now also see how can we make it work with our xml file so say you have your 10 test classes which you are going to run together from testng.xml right so let me quickly create a xml file so i'll go to here i go to my test ng and i say convert to test ng so this will help me creating my xml file i say finish okay it's created okay so you have got your xml created right let me run it now okay you did get an error what is the error cannot find class in class bar dot sample project okay so it's not dot i did the same mistake in my last video also <laughs> okay fine so okay guys one thing you don't need to do anything additional in your xml file okay like if we talk about test ng listeners you did you do need to provide the listener tag in your xml files but if we talk about web driver event listeners you need not do anything you have registered it with your driver you don't need to do anything else anywhere you simply run your xml file so we are going to run our test ng.xml okay so it has got my browser opened okay so let me close this again i should have put driver dot quit rather anyway okay so i again see test run one failures is also one okay i do see my both here i have navigated to url and i have also encountered an exception the exception reason is right here no such element exception okay so this was all about what is web driver event listeners the different methods that we get in web driver event listeners and how do you register your web driver event listener along with your selenium script hope you could have understood this and let me know for any questions okay thank you